All right, I'm going to show you uh, Google Docs assignment number three and what it's all about. So I'm just going to use first hour as the example here. This would work the same for fourth hour or seventh hour, but I'll just go to first hour and we'll get to the classwork tab here. And this is the Thursday assignment. All right, so I'm going to click there. Uh, as I'm recording this, there are only two things posted here. There is a help page, and the help page looks like this. Um, it just has instructions about opening the document, and uh, you're going to have to select chunks of text on this. So I've got some tips about how you can do that, and I'm going to show those here in just a minute. And then the, the whole assignment is about taking paragraphs of text and, and changing the order of the text, moving it around and putting it in a different order. So I've got a couple of different options here about how you can rearrange the text, how you can actually do that. And then when you get everything in the right order and it, everything looks good, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, so just keep watching. Uh, when you get it all done, you turn it in. All right, so let's hop back here to... Uh, Google Classroom and the document is sitting right here it says number three rearrange text so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and get it loaded and as a teacher I always have to do this make a copy thing I'm gonna click file and click make a copy and I'll do make a copy you uh, you students won't have to do that you don't have to do the whole make a copy thing all right I'm gonna get the original closed up and I'll just work on the copy now let's take a look at the document as it is. Um, you can see it, if you look at it closely, you're gonna find it's that Latin text again. You can't really read it except for the parts that say paragraph eight and paragraph 12 and paragraph five. You can read that, but the rest of it is Latin text and you can't read it. Well, unless you translate it. All right, so anyway, if I scroll through this, you'll see that the paragraphs are just all out of order. That's kind of the problem with this thing. The paragraphs are out of order. So we're going to work on fixing that, right? We're gonna put them in order, so it goes from one to two to three to four to five, right straight through, and there are 15 different paragraphs. Now there are some details coming up here, so you're gonna to wanna to keep watching and make sure that you understand the details of the assignment. First of all, I wanna tell you this. I almost always have somebody think, well, okay, I'll just come along here and I'll click here by paragraph eight, I'll hit backspace, I'll put a one right there, and okay, now that's paragraph one. And they try to just renumber the paragraphs. And I'm gonna tell you right now, if you do that, that will get you zero credit on the assignment. I've, I've done this assignment enough times that I know what this should look like when it's done correctly. And so don't just renumber it, that is not the point of the assignment. The point is selecting text and getting it moved from one place to another. Okay, well anyway, let's go to work. We're going to want paragraph one to be up at the top, so we got to scroll along here and find paragraph one, and it's way down at the bottom. Now, a couple of things about selecting. Obviously, you can just click and drag. I mean, that works, that's fine, so do it that way if you want to. But I always like to show extra little tricks. If you point anywhere in the paragraph and do a triple click, if you go click, click, click uh, with your mouse, uh, click, 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 uh, that will select the entire paragraph. So maybe you knew that and maybe you didn't. Another thing you can do is you can point actually out here off the side of the page. Your mouse pointer can be off the side of the page and you can click and drag down like that and that will select it as well. Even though the mouse is actually off the page, it still will select the text if I click and drag down. And you can also do this. You can also click by the P in paragraph one, press the shift key, and tap the down arrow on the keyboard. So you wouldn't even have to use the mouse at all. You can hold the shift key and tap the arrow keys, and you can select text that way. So do it however you want to do it. Uh, just drag over it, triple click, uh, whatever you want to do is fine. You just have to select the whole paragraph. Now, here's the, the next issue that we have here. Uh, to begin with, some people think, well, okay, I've got to get that paragraph one up to the top, so I'll just copy and paste it. No, 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 don't copy it. We don't want two of them. Copy and paste would give you two of them. We don't want two of them. So there's another way you could do it, similar to copy and paste. You could go to the edit menu right here and do cut. You could cut it and paste it, but don't copy it and paste it. 
there is a keyboard shortcut, Control X, and if you're looking carefully at my movie, you might be wondering, wait a second, what's that little curly Q symbol on that keyboard shortcut? Actually, I'm recording this on a Mac, so it's Command X on a Mac, but it's Control X on, um, on a computer like your Chromebook or like the computers at school. Uh, all right, so anyway, you could cut it. And here's what happens when you cut something. I'm going to go ahead and click cut right there, edit cut, and it disappears. And sometimes people panic and they say, oh my goodness, where did my text go? Don't worry, it's in the computer's memory. And so I'm going to scroll right up here. I'll go way up to the top. I'll click right in here. I'll put that, that blinking cursor right there. And I'm going to paste. Boom. All right. So that was a cut and paste, and that's one way you could do the assignment. Now, here is something that I want you to pay attention to. On this assignment, a part of it is that you have to have, after, see how uh, right here, I'm talking about right here, at the end of paragraph one and the beginning of this paragraph eight, which is out of order, um, there's no space. All right, when you're done with this, I want there to be one cursor of space in between each paragraph. So I'm going to click here. It's the letter C and a period, and I'm going to just press enter right there. And you see that now this is what I'm talking about when I say one cursor of space in between there. See that? There's just one blinking cursor in there. So you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to make sure that there's one empty line in between each paragraph. All right, well, let's go get, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I've got a few other little tips to show you here. Let's go get paragraph two, I found it. So I'll just get that selected. And again, you could do edit, cut, or uh, control X. It disappears, but don't panic. And I'm gonna click right there after paragraph one, and I'll do edit, paste, or you could do control V, and now I have paragraph one, paragraph two. Now remember though, uh, paragraph two, there's no space between one and two. So I'm gonna click, you know, I could click right there after at the end of paragraph one, press the enter key because you have to leave an ex empty space right there. You have to make sure that there's one cursor of empty space. All right, now I'm gonna show you something else on paragraph three, I found it here. So let's get paragraph three all selected. Now another way you can do this is um, it's a drag and drop. If you select the entire paragraph and then just point your mouse in here anywhere and just click and start dragging up, just click and drag up. And now can you see, I hope you can see that little blue um, cursor there that's, that's sitting right there. Uh, I still have the mouse button down right now. I'm pressing the mouse button and holding it down and I can move this around and I park that little blue cursor right where I want it and then let go of the mouse button, boom, and paragraph three shows up. So I didn't do cut and paste. I did drag and drop. Now, paragraph three is too close to paragraph two, so I'm gonna press enter to push it down. And I'm looking here and I'm thinking, boy, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get paragraph four in there. So I'm going to click here by paragraph eight and just push that down a little bit to create some space. All right, so let's go. I'll, I'll just do, I don't know, one or two more. All right, so let's go get paragraph four. And it's either cut and paste or drag and drop. And then one empty line. And, and again, when I say one empty line, if I click in there, I only see one cursor. Now look down here. See, this is what I don't want. See how there's there's one there's room for two cursors there, and that's too much space, right? That is too much space in between. I don't want that much space in between, and so you got to be careful, right? Just one empty line between each paragraph, just like I'm showing you there. All right. Uh, so I know I would now I'm ready for paragraph five. And again, I could either cut and paste, or I could click and drag. I could do drag and drop. I'm gonna to have to do a control Z there because I accidentally let go of the mouse button too soon. All right, so I'm gonna drop that in, boom. Paragraph five is too close to paragraph four, so I'm gonna press enter right there. And it's all shaping up now, see? Um, Paragraph one, two, three, four, five, and it, it's coming together. Now, um, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not going to finish all. Of, I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I think you're, you know, if you've 
stuck with me this far, I think you're starting to get it. You just have to, uh, you know, you find the paragraph that you need. Here's paragraph six. Um, this time maybe I'll do an edit cut and I'll go up here right after paragraph five and I'll do an edit paste and I'm going to make sure there's an empty line right there. And you know, right now as it is, paragraph six starts on this page and goes on to the next page, but that's okay. That doesn't bother me at all. That's fine. I'm going to push paragraph eight down just to create, I'm just pressing enter, enter, enter there so I can create a little space. Now, let me show you one other thing, and that is, uh, here we go. What's it gonna look like when it's all the way done? Right, so here's one that is all the way done. I got paragraph one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and they are all nicely spaced, one cursor of space in between each of the paragraphs. There's not too much space. There's not too little space. You don't want them to be crammed right next to each other. You also don't want this. I'm going to show you. You also don't want that kind of thing where there's a whole bunch of space here. That You'll, you'll lose points for that. That's not how this assignment works. You got to get the paragraphs in the right order and there has to be one empty cursor of space in between each one. All right. Well, so there you go. It's a matter of cut and paste or drag and drop and get those paragraphs in the right order. And then there will be a turn in button up here on the top right hand side for you to turn it in when you're all done. All right, folks, that's the end of the demo. Off you go.